The VTEC four-line small business system supports cordless accessories. These accessories, when added to the system, behave as independent stations, allowing you to answer calls from each of the telephone lines or even respond to intercom calls. However, because the accessories don't have dial pads, you must still use the other stations in the system to make calls or dial numbers. Installing the IS6100 cordless headset. Each IS6100 cordless headset must be registered to the CM18445 console before use. Just like the cordless desk set and cordless handset, each IS6100 will be assigned a unique extension number and behaves as an independent station. If you do not have a CM18445 main console, you may purchase one at vtechphones.com. Plug the power adapter for the headset charger into a power outlet, not controlled by a wall switch. Press and hold the on-off button for two seconds to power on the headset. Then place it in the charger and note the color of the on-off button to make sure the headset has not been registered to other devices. If there is a static red or blue light, the headset is registered to other devices and you have to deregister it before proceeding. Press the following buttons sequentially to deregister your headset. Volume up, on, off. Volume down, on, off. Volume up, volume down, on, off. If the light on the headset flashes red and blue alternately, the headset is not registered to any other devices. Leave the headset in the charger for at least five minutes to charge its battery. Then lift the headset from its charger. To start registering the headset, press Menu Select on the CM18445 console. Select Registration and then Register Extension, or EXT. The console shows Registering. Next, place the headset in the charger to continue. Registration may take up to 60 seconds to complete. When registration is complete, the CM18445S console shows Headset Speaker X Registered. In this example, X is the extension number of your headset. Next, the console shows Link Headset Speaker X to Extension. Linking the headset with an existing console, desk set, or handset extension allows you to make a call through the dial pad on that extension. You'll also see information about which line the headset is operating displayed on the screen of the linked extension. If you want to link the headset, choose Yes. Otherwise, choose No, and you can link the headset later using the Headset Speaker menu. Select a desired extension to link with the headset. Lift the headset and press the on-off button. If you hear a dial tone, the registration was successful. If you link the headset with a console, desk set, or handset extension, the screen of that extension displays the headset's extension number, along with the line it is using whenever the headset finds a line. You can then press the corresponding line button on that linked extension and dial the number you want to reach. Installing the TL80133 cordless speakerphone. Each TL80133 cordless speakerphone must be registered to the CM18445 console before use. Just like the cordless desk set and cordless handset, each TL80133 will be assigned a unique extension number and behaves as an independent station. If you do not have a CM18445 main console, you may purchase one at vtechphones.com. Plug the power adapter for the speakerphone charger into a power outlet 
not controlled by a wall switch. Plug the battery connector securely into the socket inside the speakerphone battery compartment and insert the supplied battery with the label this side up facing up. When you finish, close the battery compartment. Then place the speakerphone in the charger and make note of the color of the charge light to make sure the speakerphone has not been registered to other devices. If there is a static red or green light, the speakerphone is registered to other devices and you have to deregister it before proceeding. Press the following button sequentially to deregister your speakerphone. Volume up, phone, volume down, phone, volume up, volume down, phone. If the light on the speakerphone flashes red and green alternately, the speakerphone is not registered to any other devices. Leave the speakerphone in the charger for at least five minutes to charge its battery. Then lift the speakerphone from its charger. To start registering the speakerphone, press Menu Select on the CM18445 console. Select Registration and then Register Extension. The console shows Registering. Next, place the speakerphone in the charger to continue. Registration may take up to 60 seconds to complete. When registration is complete, the CM18445 console shows Headset Speaker X registered. In this example, X is the extension number of your speakerphone. Next, the console shows Link Headset Speaker X to extension. Linking the speakerphone with an existing console desk set or handset extension allows you to make a call through the dial pad on that extension. You'll also see information about which line the speakerphone is operating, displayed on the screen of the linked extension. If you want to link the speakerphone, choose Yes. Otherwise, choose No, and you can link the speakerphone later using the headset speaker menu. Select a desired extension to link with the speakerphone. Press the phone key on the speakerphone. If you hear a dial tone, the registration was successful. If you link the speakerphone with a console, desk set, or handset extension, the screen of that extension will display the speakerphone's extension number along with the line it is using whenever the speakerphone finds a line. You can then press the corresponding line button on that linked extension and dial the number you want to reach. This concludes the registration process for the two cordless accessories for the VTEC 4-Line Small Business System.